Hi everybody, I'm Kirsty Meekin from Nao Nails. In this video, I'm going to create a full look inspired by what I am wearing today, which is a mixture of animal print and a Hawaiian shirt. Do they have zebras on Hawaii? In, in well, Hawaii? I, it is very Hawaiian, I think, part of it. But then we've got this, you know, this zebra print as well. I think it's pretty cool. Preview. I haven't got a wine shorts on as well, just so you know. And we've got fabulous JJ in today. We've not had JJ in for a while. I'm going to use this hand, I think. So I'm just wiping over. I have already prepped JJ's nails, so I've done cuticle work and removed surface shine. JJ's not had any nails done by me for like forever. It's been so long. It's been too long. I've missed JJ and I'm sure the viewers have missed you too. <sighs> I'm just so excited. <laughs> Going with Diva, with Diva nails. Yeah. It'd be nice to have length again. Mm, I find that would be nice as well. So I'm going to use the shirt as inspiration. I've already got out a few colours. I've got crystal clear, mega white. I've got pure black. I've got um, natural beige. Surprise, surprise. I've got neon purple shimmer. Oh, we've got something else that's neon purple here. Oh yeah, we've got a neon purple. We won't be using this today. Not today anyway. <laughs> and cherry uh, glazed cherries and kimono. <laughs> right, so when I'm putting these forms on, I'm putting the tab on the back to double the thickness. I'm rolling it between my thumbs. Oh, I'm no, no. closing the end. Coming right underneath that tiny skinny free edge. Probably need to move the cushion just to get you in the right position. It's really important to have your clients in the right position. If they're not, it will hinder your work. Don't be afraid to get your client to have a little move around. So you'll notice that the form is sloping slightly down. That's because we're creating a ballerina nail and when you're creating a ballerina nail, you want the form to slope slightly down like you would if you were doing a stiletto. It's the same form placement. Right, so we're going to dehydrate. So this is going to take all the oils from the nail. It's a, a much nicer base to be working on when you're working with acrylic. And then I'm using acid-based primer. I don't want JJ to have any problems with lifting. JJ is a hairdresser, so her hands are in water a lot. So I don't want to risk any problems with lifting. You only need one coat of that, very thin coat as well. I'm going to be using medium speed because it's not super fast and it's not super slow. And I want some kind of control. We're going to build out a very thin layer of clear on all of these nails. So this thin base layer will help with structure and I'll actually be able to see the shape before I start to work with the coloured acrylics. We're going to about a two and a half. Oh, <laughs> I can oh. see Jay's face there. She was like, oh, how long is she going to go? How long is she going to go? Is it going to be too long? Oh, no, that's fine. <laughs> I don't think I can have too long. I've missed them that much. That mm. you're like, yeah, I need. Full advantage. Go, sh amazingly. Amazing. Close that form a bit more. So make sure you're patting and pulling and pressing and sweeping that product to get it nice and thin. It will overlap slightly onto the natural nail so you're just giving that nail a hug 
with the acrylic. I'm just saying, hey! So I'm going to do this on all of these five beautiful nails. Now with the pinky, so the little finger, we'll go to a two, not a two and a half because the pinky should always be ever so slightly smaller or shorter than the rest of the hand. If we do it the same length, it will look quite strange. So I'm going to go to my thumb now and give that a little bit of a pinch so we can also pinch this base layer. You don't want to hold it on there too long because it will create a lot of stress on the natural nail because it's so thin. Be just tweaking it. Right, what I'm going to do now is move on to my next stage and I'm going to do my reverse smile lines. I'm going to have a reverse smile line on this finger and the thumb. And I'm going to do that with natural beige. Pop my bead down, pointing the finger down. I'm going to do this in two. We're going to extend the nail bed so it looks nice and long. And we're going to neaten this smile. We're going to start the smile where the natural nail finishes. So we're going to start these points here where that natural nail finishes. We're going to do that on both sides which should give you a even smile line. We're creating a brick wall. And the brick wall needs to be upright. So I've just sweeped here and then I'm going to pat and that will give me a neater smile line. So it forces the product out. So by sweeping here with my brush very straight, it's going to give straight sides and then pressing will give a nice even brick wall, nice and crisp. Smaller bead at the back, tipping the finger down, letting it draw away from the cuticle area. And just slide that over the top of the previous bead. Can do the same on the thumb. So I'm just going to put a pinching tool onto this one now, just to give it a little bit of a pinch. So that's starting to set now. So I'm going to take the neon purple shimmer, I'm going to do a full nail on this finger. But then we're going to use this colour on another nail as well to tie it all in and it's all about composition and the flow of the design from nail to nail so I feel like we don't just have to do a full nail and then not use it anywhere else I want to use it on another nail as well 
just to tie it all in. Sometimes the higher the pigment of the acrylic colour, it may stick to your brush, so you've just got to be wary of that and keep that brush nice and clean. this purple but it's got that gorgeous glitter in it as well Before I cap that, I'm just going to check on this nail, see if we can give it a pinch. Yeah, I think it's it's pinchable. It's at a pinchable stage. Not going to cap it yet. I'm going to cap it when I cap the other nails, so we can cap all at the same time. I'm going to use this purple here on this middle finger to create a cuff. So we're going to go round this cuticle, bring it down the sides. So you're kind of doing it like an upside down smile line. So I want to create a cuff of colour. And even when JJ comes and has an infill, we can also fill with this colour. Will be actually easier than trying to continue the design that we put on. Just going to tap it just to get it nice and neat. Just sweeping in from the center outwards to get a crisp line i want to make sure i've got enough color just here I feel like i need a tiny bit more lovely it's lovely see how it's tying it in now we're tying in this color to this nail as well we're going to do a full nail of colour with this pink I am in love with this colour it's making me excited for like good weather oh yeah well all the spring fashion's coming out now and I'm like oh, I'm a bit obsessed with yellow at the minute I've even added yellow to my front room have you? yeah Got grey and yellow. Nice. Love, love, love yellow. But yellow is like one of the big colours of the season. Maybe we should do grey and yellow in there.
So we're going to cap with clear. This is going to give strength. So you want to concentrate on your apex. Give yourself a nice apex. We also do want to file directly onto that glitter. We don't want to take the colour away. Gonna do the same with the pink. I love this pink. I think I need this pink in my life. So we're doing the same to create strength. I'm going to come back to this one, give him a bit of a pinch. Right, so with this one, what we're going to do is we're going to use Mega White. We're going to do the, le the leopard. It's not leopard, it's zebra. We're going to do the zebra in acrylic. I'm going to meet that shape, that cuff there. Bring it down. little bit. Take the spatula and we're going to drag through some lines that we can then put the black into. You can open some out with a brush, like we can open this part out with the brush. Let's pull one through here as well. So like your bigger ones you can do with the brush and your finer ones you can use a tool. You want it to set up a little bit before you 
pull through. Yeah, I'm just going to pull through with a 3D brush to make that a little bit wider there. And then I can get my spatula. We're going to take the black, we're going to use it quite wet and we're going to let it just sit into all those little recesses. I love how everyone's freaking out now. I've just had a heart attack. <laughs> Have you really? Are you like, what the hell are you doing, Kirst? Kirst, stop thinking about murders. <laughs> and you do nails properly. Do nails. And you're like, what are you doing, Kirst? Wow, wait and see. It's going to be a magical moment, I can feel it. Yes, yeah, so we're just going to absolutely cover this nail with a bit of black. That is some black. It's good, isn't it? Do need this to set up a little bit before we do anything else with it. So while that's having a little, little chill and a little, you know, just setting up a little bit, you know, as you do. We will move on to another nail. What we're going to do is we're going to do a similar thing, well, basically the same with this nail. So we're going to get the white, walk it up to those sides. Just going to cut out a frame. Right, so this one we're going to come in and pinch this crazy looking nail and we're going to take the black and again it's quite wet because we want it to sit in to those recesses. sure that you keep this frame then with this one we're going to do white up this side Leave 
this section empty. So just cut that to make it a little bit sharper and then we're going to come through again, create the pattern. So I'm going to fill this with black again. Right, so with this nail, I'm going to file around the edge of this framework we're going to frame this nail with the pink I'm just making sure the frame is straight because it will come out here so we'll put pink in there pink there so I'm going to get the pink and I'm going to take it right around the edge I want to keep it quite thin. I will cap this once we've filed through that black. So same round this side, take the pink all the way around that edge. So 
So what I'm going to do now is take an e-file and blitz over the nails that have the zebra print in them. So all the ones with the black. Do you like it, Kay? Do you yeah, like it? It looks yeah. like a for real zebra. Absolutely. You can put some eyes on that and little nose. <laughs> it's amazing and cute. I think it's amazing how you can see it in your head what like as you're doing it. Like how you've got that vision. Yeah. So I'm going to do that with all the nails that have this technique. That's that nice. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a bit of clear on here, cap that, cap that and cap this. They're already looking pretty swanky. I know. Oh, look at my nails, girl. I'd be paying for things like this. Tell you what, <laughs> I want those nails. There is no way I've got time to sit and do that on my nails. <laughs> I can give it a go. I'll watch a video. I think you should just give Jay your shirt. <laughs> yes, that is another option. I don't think so. <laughs> I think Jay should go and buy one, though. Just give yeah. some black. Hey. Have a black. Clear. This one looks like a leopard with a pink nose. <laughs> when you look at the top. Zebra. Zebra, Zebra sorry. <laughs> God, I'm so obsessed with leopards lately. And it looks like a zebra with a pink nose. Put your little eyes on there. Yeah. I'm going over with the file sharpened up that frame as well as the pink. Oh! Sandy! <laughs> Men miss out, don't they? Mm-hmm. Like, so much. They really do. Well, some men. men straight men mess, mess out. Yeah, straight men mess out. Let's take the forms off. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now for the bit that JJ loves. Taking the forms off. Mm. Let's go for the completely dry ones first. But you don't really do a lot with tips anymore, do you? Like when you stick them on. No. I'm just going to pinch that one a little bit. Is that unwrapping a present? <laughs> Ta da! So I'm going to do my normal filing routine. So I'm going to do my side walls nice and straight. I'm just going to use a 240 around JJ's cuticles because she's such a sensitive soul. I don't want to cut her. I'm using the curved side of the file.
And I'm going to use a 120 grit file to do the end and I'm going to contour with this as well. So I'm pulling the file up and down the nail from the apex to the tip. So I'm just going to buff over to give them a smooth finish. Look how cool this framed one turned out. I love it. So now they're all filed and buffed, I'm going to wipe over with gel residue wipe off solution just to make sure they're all nice and clean. And then we're going to do some pretty flowers. So let's do a bit of red first. I'm going to add a little bit of that orange to the red because it's like a ready orange, don't you think? It's not like a pillar box red, is it? Got a slight orange tone to it. So I'm just going to do simple shapes first, simple petal shapes, and then the detail will come after. Do the same with the orange. And the same with the lilac. So on the lilac flower, we have like these red little lines. So I'm going to put those in now. Where's this top from? It's from Dirt Little Style Bitches. We've got the same red on the orange as well, on the orange flowers. And they're not like dead perfect lines they just to add to the detail they're not massively detailed so they are quite easy a little bit of green to the centers what flowers are these i don't know tropical mm -hmm. hawaiian hawaiian like ham and pineapple <laughs> and they're adam just gonna like slate me for saying that they are horrible pizzas ah they're my favorite I used to love them at Grandad's. They were like what you'd have at Grandad's French fries and ham and pineapple pizza. A little bit of green for leaves, quite simple shapes. So I'm gonna take this darker green, add a bit of water. And what we can do with that is just add a little bit of detail to 
do these leaves. We're going to use the black and we're going to outline you see how they've got little black outlines and a little bit of detail as well we're going to do that on all of the flowers So we've painted all the flowers, some beautiful flowers. Now we're going to top coat. So I'm going to use the Urban Graffiti top coat. This has no sticky layer. This will seal the painting, it will bring all the colours out. Make it smell a little bit brighter. So we're going to pop some crystals on, we're going to use the aqua gel to put them on. I'm just going to pop some in the middle here, sort of at the cuticle then in the middle. Because I don't want to take away from that gorgeous colour and we've got a lot going on. So I've just dipped my brush into gel residue wipe off solution so I can move that aqua gel around. I want to make it seamless so I'm going to pat those edges. And I'm going to go over with top coat. We're not curing that aqua gel. reservoir around those stones holding them in place. I'm going to 
finish with cuticle oil. Has anybody ever made that mistake where they think they're putting cuticle oil on and they like put primer on or something like that? Glue. Yeah. What would happen? Do you know what? Do you know what? Um, Sham did. What? Sham did it and put glue on. <laughs> oh my God. She's fine. Not glue, sorry. Normal like uh, nail varnish top coat. Oh. <laughs> All round the cuticles. She thought it was oil. <laughs> she since had her eyes tested. <laughs> oh. Just gonna take that excess oil off the nail so it doesn't diminish anything. Diminish? Yeah, it diminishes the shine, I feel. You can use that one. Word of the day. Word of the day, diminish. <laughs> What gorgeous are they? Beautiful. There you are guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you like me top with used as inspiration. Do you love them? I absolutely love them. Thank I you. really am jealous. I would be. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so today. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Everything I've used today will be listed below in the description box. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye. Say bye, JJ. Bye. Say bye, Adam. See you later. <laughs>